Now, what is going on, y'all? It's Baker. You know me, love me. We do it every Monday right here from noon to 2 on KBF 88.3 FM, the voice of the people. Name the show's Tomorrow's Dream. It's local, it's heavy. We bring you all the uh, news about the bands that are going to be playing in town this week with the slight exception of where they're going to be playing. It's a mystery. It's fun. Uh, play along from home. We got big, huge signs on the wall, though, and they are staring me right in the face, and they're in black and yellow, so you know it's serious. They need your attention. We are in Pledge Drive, folks. We need your funds to help keep this going. The station does not run on thoughts and prayers, unfortunately. So um, the best way to donate, go over to kabf.org. That's kabf.org. There's a big yellow, you scroll down, there's a big yellow button, pretty sure it says donate now. Uh, it'll take you over to PayPal or whatever your preferred method of payment. You can set up a recurring donation and maybe you just got an extra five or ten bucks a month you want to kick our way. We would really appreciate it. Make sure you put our name in the comments there. Tomorrow's dream, let them know how much you love this show. So we can keep doing the dang thing, right? Uh, we got a bunch of events coming up. We're putting together some, this is our 40th year anniversary. This station is one week older than me. And so it's been here my entire life. And it's just a huge blessing that we have this here in Arkansas. Like nobody's doing this. Nobody, nobody puts out this kind of music at this kind of a power rating. And you're not going to find it. So, um, we appreciate you tuning in. Like always, like I said, go over to kbf.org, donate there, or give me a call while songs are playing, not while I'm talking, obviously. Uh, 501-433-0088, right up here at the station, and we'll figure out how to get you your money to us through snail mail. I will drive to you and pick it up. We'll figure it out. We got some cool t-shirts for sale. Um, our show in particular, some KBF Tomorrow's Dream. Shirts that we will have for sale, probably at the, uh, there's a Mardi Gras thing going on Saturday. I think I'm going to go try to help out over there, so you can probably find me at the booth. Um, there's a really cool thing going on tomorrow at Whitewater Tavern, for once I can tell you <laughs> where it's at, for sure. Uh, it is a, I just had it right here in front of me, where'd it go? But it's... Uh, it's an event. I think we're having kind of a meeting amongst ourselves uh, to work on some things, but it is open to the public that come hang out with us, come meet all the DJs, come tell us how much you love or hate what we're doing, and we'll keep doing it either way. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll talk more about that. We got a bunch of other cool news, but I got a whole bunch to squeeze in this week, even though there's really just a few shows, which you just heard a few moments ago there was that's a really cool new uh artist I just, or uh, maybe not new but new to me sebastian diaz was it uh that instrumental track you just heard there called manhattan and uh really cool stuff from a very uh virtuoso guitarist it sounds like and before that you heard pool the uh from their their single version from their demo not the uh controversial live recording <laughs> Uh, that was Odium from Pool. Uh, I did some t-shirts for them and they're, they said that they, they had a show that got canceled last week, but I, I think they're playing, uh, at the place where all the metal shows usually happen here in Little Rock, uh, on Friday, they said. But the, the website for that place is down right now and I can't find an event page and uh, I don't know. So, uh, there might be a show at that place on Friday where you can go check out Pool and some other bands. Uh, we got some brand new stuff uh, coming up here in a second from Current Solace. We got some new stuff from Birds with Teeth. We got a, an old new one because I it, it's not brand It's like last year, but I totally think it's, I've just missed it. Did not hit my radar. Cool, cool track from Malthus. And then we'll bust into uh, some of the show the bands you can catch play live this week. Let's kick it off with brand new stuff, though, from I, the Killer. Some new... Uh, New Fayetteville project. This is the wrong side of the bat. KBF tomorrow's dream. Voice out the people.
Again, that was Malthus with uh, on riveting seas of slaughter. Yeah, riveting indeed. Hot Springs project there, Lance Griffin and the boys. We need to get them on stage soon. I don't know what they need, but I'm about to find it and figure it out. Get them, get it going. Uh, shows this week. Wednesday, kicking it off, Wednesday and Thursday, or at the place, you know, the one where all the metal shows are, here in Little Rock, lately, I'll get you a bite of pizza, a beer, while you're there, uh, Wednesday, we got Kamikaze Zombie coming up from New Orleans, horror-themed death, kind of thrashy, good stuff, uh, little punk, little hardcore mixed in there, both of my there are two of my projects will be opening up, providing local support. Got Pantheon and Fred. And since I'm playing twice, I'm playing two songs from each band. I don't make the rules. That's just how it goes. Um, actually, Chad's got one Pantheon lined up next hour, so I'm going to drop down to one on that, make a little more room for some of this other stuff. Thursday, over at Bean, eh, almost did it. <laughs> Thursday at that spot there. Uh, you can catch three touring bands coming through. Ballista, Soledad, and Knife Wound. I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that. Uh, Texas, Texas, and Atlanta. Bunch of hardcore metal core. And then we got local support from Zash. Almost butchered that one even. Uh, bringing the Cersei Shed Metal and Skull of the Americas with the Little Rock Hardcore Punk. That's one of uh, Andy's bands. Just tune into his show later on tonight, 9 p.m. to 11, Sound Salvation. All the cool underground stuff. Um, that one is at 7.30, 15 bucks. Uh, the, the one I just mentioned, Wednesday night, with Kamikaze Zombie, Pantheon of Fred is also 15 I believe it'll be Doors of Seven, Music at Eight. Uh, get there early. You're going to want to hear this brand new Fred stuff. I wish I had some of it for you. We don't have any new recordings yet, but I'm going to play one old one and one that's like the closest to the new stuff we have. Um, so that's Wednesday and Thursday at the spot. And then we got one, like I say, I think Friday at that same spot. You can catch Pool and probably some other definitely some other bands if it's happening but the website's down for that place and i can't find an event page i'm not 100 percent sure about it but give it a shot saturday over at the other place where metal shows sometimes happen small small little spot good for rafting um you can catch stressor and mothwind along with a brand new project called king laugh i don't know much about it but i know it's Jason Tedford, I think it said, and, oh, and then now the Wi-Fi goes down, so I can't tell you. Um, but yeah, it's going to be rocking. You're going to want to be there. That's Saturday, 8 p.m. at that other spot. Uh, we are in Pledge Drive still. Please, please, please give us your money. <laughs> we, we, we need it. You know we need it. Um, we need it so we can get better editing software up here. Like bands, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, um, suggest to us a particular song to play, please don't make it the one with the most blatant F-bomb in the world. I gotta do better at previewing this stuff. Sorry about that. Um, was a great track though from, uh, Current Solace was the one you heard just before. Now Thu's there with a face in the rain. And before that was Birds with Teeth, Shady Grove, and from them. And then we opened up that block with I the Killer, wrong side of the bat. All right, let's rip into this uh, double shot from Kamikaze Zombie. There's a brand new demo track from them, and then a uh, a single from last year, Cable 54 next. And uh, but this one is called The Bastard Son of a thousand mm, no I'm sorry bastard son of a hundred maniacs let's uh let's try it again 
Wi-Fi, and so it's going to uh, take just a second to load up, I think. Halfway through the thread block there, that was an old one, Gary Granite, off of the Flintstone album. If you don't know, Fred is just a joke band that got out of hand. <laughs> we kind of kept going. We put out Fred Flintstone. Uh, we, if I'm lucky, we might be dropping Fred West on Wednesday via cassette tapes. Um, it will sound absolutely nothing like the set though, which is all brand new Fred Savage part two stuff. A little grindy, uh, hardcore punk and whatnot. This is the closest I have to that. If it'll work, let's try Corey Jimmy Haley. Little single we we'll put out. Twin Fever up next. Oh, Into some live beef stash head. See what we got time for. Stick around. KBF tomorrow's dream. Four to the people.
much of this stash hag as we can. Thank you guys for indulging me. That double shot of Fred and that twin fever you just heard. Come out Wednesday to the spot. See the show. Thursday also. Friday, Saturday. All of them. You know. Stick around. Chad's got you up next. Don't forget. Let's drive. K-A-B-F dot org. We need your money. All of it. Please. Thank you. Come out to uh, Whitewater tomorrow, 5 to 7 p.m. Hang out with uh, all the DJs. Get drunk with us. Boston t shirts or something. Bye. This is National Native News. I'm Antonia Gonzalez. While efforts to repatriate Alaska Native remains have been ongoing, keeping track of those remains has been difficult. But now the Alutic Museum in Kodiak, Alaska, is building a database. KMXT's Brian Benoit reports, in about two years, tribes will be able to track repatriation progress online. Amanda Lancaster is the Alutic Museum's curator of collections. She says the $100,000 grant comes from the National Park Service's Native American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act. 
One of the major problems with NAGPRA is that there there is not like a central database that shows what has been repatriated, what has been claimed. And so oftentimes tribes will spend time pursuing these repatriations and then it turns out that that you know set of ancestral remains was, was returned and reburied 20 years ago. The new grant now gives the Aleutic Museum federal funds to create a central database that tracks repatriation progress. The money is going to be split for travel to villages to meet with tribal representatives for staff to dedicate their time towards the project. Lancaster says the museum will also use funds to contract outside software developers to create the system. Part of that money is earmarked for them to, to work on that database for us, to create a, a login system so that tribes, tribes can actually access the database themselves. This is just the latest step in bringing Alutic and Sukpiak remains back to the archipelago. The Kodiak Alutic Sukpiak Repatriation Commission and museum staff have been working to repatriate several human remains since 2007. Lancaster says the commission last met in 2022 after the museum got a similar grant that would fund more research to find additional remains. We identified 12 collecting institutions in, in the U.S. that had the remains of at least 168 Alutic ancestors, and those are just the ones we know about. The database is expected to be completed in the next two years and will only be accessible to Kodiak's 10 federally recognized tribes. In Kodiak, I'm Brian Benoit. Two native groups are headed to Las Vegas for the Super Bowl, but not to cheer on the NFL championship game between Kansas City and San Francisco. As KMBA's Jill Freitas reports, they'll be holding a demonstration on Sunday. The Greater Kansas City Area Group, not in our honor, plans to make the trip to Vegas for what members say will be a peaceful demonstration outside the stadium. They'll be joined by the group Arizona Rally Against Mascots. Members of the groups are advocating for the Kansas City team to change its name and for the end of native cultural appropriation. Gaylene Krauser is executive director of the Kansas City Indian Center and a member of Not In Our Honor. She'll be in Vegas for the demonstration and says that showing up to such a big Big event is important. Stand up and show there is opposition to the use of our imagery and likeness and the bastardization of our culture and all of those things that, that it's not okay and that they don't have the support of all of Indian country. The Kansas City team has been gaining much attention, all due to the celebrity of Taylor Swift. The singer is dating one of the players. Krauser says she thinks Swift could be an advocate for the native groups. If she were to say to them, I want to support my boyfriend and I really want to do whatever I can, but this particular issue is wrong to have human beings as a mascot and to utilize the imagery that way and, and come out against it. I, I believe she would have a lot of sway. Krauser says she's thankful Swift has not taken part in evoking the outdated stereotype of Native people when fans chant and do the tomahawk chop at games. And as far as the team changing its name, Krauser thinks it will have to take something drastic like a financial hit, but not in our honor plans to continue to hold demonstrations as long as it takes. I'm Jill Freitas. And I'm Antonia Gonzalez. <laughs> National Native News is produced by Kiwanak Broadcast Corporation with funding by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Skugtash. For more than 40 years, Ramona Farms has revived ancient traditional foods. Peppery beans, pinoli, polentas, and more, all from store.ramonafarms.com. Ramona Farms supports this show. Om ye. Support by the American Indian College Fund, providing millions of dollars of scholarships to Native students every year. Applications are accepted through May 31st at collegefund.org or by phone at 800-766-FUND. Native Voice One, the Native American Radio Network. <laughs>
It is Monday, and uh, it is between 12 and 2, which means you're listening to the Tomorrow Stream radio show. Um, let's see, what can I tell you? It's, uh, so I just played four songs already, the second hour. Um, the first one was uh, Skull of America's. And then I followed that with a Lolly Gadget Orange Couch song, and then uh, Zashed. And that last song was I Dream in Cellophane. And uh, I just wanted to go ahead and mention that we are in Pledge Drive right now, so if you can head on over to kabf.org, make a donation, that would be tremendously helpful to us here because we're running on donations. And uh, there's also, when you go to... The website, you can click on store and you can get some really cool swag. It can get you like a, a hat or a coffee mug or a shirt or a bumper sticker. You know, you can get something cool. And so make sure to go do that. Uh, just set it up to where you automatically pay a small amount every month. If you could do something like that too, that would be very helpful. And, uh, let's see. Next I'm going to play, uh, Lumina and Trafficking Melodies. I'm going to play Monkey Thumb and Pantheon and Zilla, Stressor, Mothwind, Crankbait, and Turquoise Tiger. That's what I got lined up for the hour. I uh, saw Zilla the other night at, what, at uh, Whitewater Tavern. It's in the past, I guess I can mention it. Uh, man, if you haven't seen that band live, you need to go see them live. It's incredible. You also don't want to be in the band that plays right after Zilla. I'll just go ahead and say that to you. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But... uh yeah, man, get out and go to some shows, man. It's fun. See some of these local bands I'm playing. This is uh, Luma on a 88.3 KABF, Voice of the People.
of those trafficking melodies. I uh, saw them the other night at the Bircho Fest. Pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so uh, local band, um, uh, Mothwind, one of our local bands, is going to be uh, dropping a new, new uh, single tomorrow. But I have got the connection here. I'm going to go ahead and we have permission to go ahead and play it a day early right here on the radio. So uh, check it out. This is brand new from Mothwind. Okay, maybe that's not going to happen as quick as I thought. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, you know what? All right, let's see. All right, we got this. <laughs> <laughs> 